Hey folks, David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. You're here for another episode of Common Sense Market Analysis. Today is Friday, August 1, 2014. And what do we have here? Well, go back to the videotape, folks, because I know I told you <clears throat> at least once, maybe twice, that this would be our first stopping area. I said 192 and a half, give or take. I said maybe we get down to this gap fill. Um, but I said this would be a great stopping point. Where did we stop today? Right here. Let me show you why, okay? Here we go. Let's do a Fibonacci retracement, and we'll take the low from here. We'll go to the high from here, okay? Where are we? 382. 38.2% retracement from low to high. That's no accident. This stuff works, folks. If, as long as you know what you're looking for, you you, you put the, the probabilities in your favor, and that's all we try and do, right? I don't know what the market's going to do Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, but when I see certain setups where the probabilities are in our favor, okay, that's basically what we're in business to do. So the market stopped here. Now what happens? So let me get rid of these lines and... Let's just uh, let's just discuss what happens next week. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let, let's let's map this out. Uh, one scenario is Monday something happens over the weekend, and Monday you have an all-out collapse, and you know you could come down to these lows down here, uh, 30, 40 points on the S and P, easy. But um, I don't favor that scenario. Okay, I think nothing ever goes in a straight line up or down. Okay, so I think this is a good stopping point for a while. So what is a while? Well, it could be only a few days, and here's the scenario. So Monday, maybe we chop around a little bit in the morning, and if we're up by about 10 o'clock in the morning, you can, you can bank on an up day unless something happens, some kind of news event that jolts the market. But if nothing like that happens and the market stabilizes by 10 o'clock, uh, my, my, my analysis says that Monday you can have an up day and you can have a back and forth to up day on Tuesday and then we'll, we'll take it from there. But n then we want to see what happens. So what could happen? If we shoot up and engulf this candle here, you know, if we regain this high here, then the psychology and the dynamic of the analysis and the market changes a little bit and we'll play that by ear if it happens. But if we come at and and we come up to about here and then Tuesday we're up in here, okay, that's setting up for a bearish pattern. That's setting up for lower prices. That's when we would look to pick up some more shorts. But Monday, early Monday, if the market looks to be stable and we think that some oversold stocks can uh, rally a little bit and give us two, three, four dollars on the upside uh, with a reasonably priced stock because of some short covering and, and some momentum buying, then we may take those trades as well. So we're going to play it by ear, but that's my take. I think this is a good stopping point for a few days. I don't see it as a stopping point for weeks. But I think there's more downside to be had right now. But remember, this is going to play out over months. Okay, you're going to have ups and downs for months. You're going to have up days where the Dow is going to be up 400 points. You're going to have down days where it's going to be down 400 points. So that's going to happen over the next several months. And everything's going to whip around. So you need to just pay attention and be patient at the same time. So for the members who are in the short trades, okay, if we have an update Monday or Tuesday, stay with it. It's okay. If you want to put a break-even stop, that's fine. We're nicely in the money on them all. Um, so that's up to you. But uh, I don't, I don't see these stocks regaining their highs, and and if they do, you know, we stop out accordingly. But uh, I think we give it a couple of days and see how the market reacts, specifically on Monday. Monday's an important day. Let's move over to uh, the gold market. And uh, gold was up a little bit today, but you know what? Nothing is happening. It's just chopping around, right? I still think our best bet is to pick it up around 122.5, 123, something like that. And we're really, really close. I mean, we were almost there yesterday. So um, it's just chopping around. There's really not much to talk about. But what what is it is important is gold holding up even in the face of the fed claiming that the economy is getting better which is going to cause them to continue to taper 
okay, and also cause them in their mind to raise interest rates, meaning the short term overnight rate um, in, in maybe, you know, maybe even later this year or for certain in their mind today, early 2015. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. My take is the market cracks and we get some really, really bad news, which jolts the market. All the confidence gets sucked out. Everybody becomes sour. The mood goes bad. The Fed needs to come to the rescue. They either halt the taper or they institute a new program, some Janet Yellen flavor program that juices the market, right? And then all of a sudden, gold takes off to the upside. The dollar goes down again. And that whole cycle plays out again for how long. We'll see what happens when we get there. But that's one scenario that you can certainly see playing out. So there's not much new news on gold. GDX is the same routine. Uh, oil, oil is still coming under pressure. And here's the USO. But the USO looks like it's going to come into a level you want to buy down here at this 200-day moving average and these lows here. But uh, I'm not I'm not sold on that yet. So um, we'll see what the pattern looks like when it gets there and whether or not we issue a trade alert or not. We'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, if if we get some sideways. Uh, sorry, I didn't have that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't have the uh, today's mo movement on there. You know, if we get, uh, you know, this looks like a buy, but, you know, I just don't know if we get some sideways movement here like over the next few days with the market, then uh, it may be uh, more downside for the USO and, and oil too. So uh, I'm just not sold in the USO trade, and um, we'll, we'll play that one by ear. All right, so you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to go over much more tonight. It was a good week. Let's have a great weekend. Enjoy the profits on the short side for all the members. Um, and um, basically, just remember what you're going to hear next week. If the market starts up a little bit, it's going to be a relief rally at first, at least anyway. And they'll come out on TV with the pom-poms and everything's fine. And then they'll have all the reasons why the sell-off was overdone. And that was the correction we were looking for. And it's a buying opportunity. All that stuff. You know what? It's nonsense. Okay, if the market's going to go higher, we'll know it over the next several days or weeks. But certainly, it's in a downtrend. It looks like the cycle took hold. It looks like we have confirmation on the downside. It looks like the trend has changed. But it's going to be choppy. You're going to have whipsaw days. You're going to have up weeks. You're going to have down weeks. You're going to have down two, three weeks. You're going to have up two, three weeks. So you need to pay attention. You need to understand that, that the market is always going to be there to trick as many people as it can trick. And therefore, uh, you know, just follow me and I'm going to guide you through. Okay. So, you know, we hit, we hit the first target on the S and P, right? Let's just go back there. All right. Uh, wrong. We hit the first target on the S and P. Here's the daily chart, right? I said it was going to be here. It came in here and uh, basically here, basically uh, we're going to look for a couple of days of pauses to up, you know, let the let the market work off some of the oversold condition. Let it work off the negative sentiment. Let it build back up, build some pressure back up. It's kind of like, you know, we run, we run, we run. All right. So we just ran, you know, maybe five miles. Right. And now we're going to stop. We're going to take a breath. We're going to have a sip of water. We're going to take a breath, a couple deep breaths. And once we catch our breath again, we can start running again. So that's kind of the way the market operates when it's in the beginnings of a downtrend anyway. So that's what I think this is. And we'll see if it reacts that way. So everybody should have a great weekend. Nice profits this week. And I'm David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. This was another episode of Common Sense Market Analysis.